All right, so have you ever had Chrome to crash, and then when you reopened it, it didn't have the option to restore your tabs? This usually happens when your entire Windows machine crashes, and then when you log back on, you've lost all your tabs, and your, your whole session is gone. Um, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Well, kind of. So the first thing to note is uh, we're going to be using a couple pieces of software that you're going to download. One is called HXD, and this is a hexadecimal uh, viewer or hex viewer. Um, whenever Google saves this stuff, your previous sessions and all that, it saves it as raw zeros and ones to your computer. That saves space. Well, we can't read that directly, and I'll show you an example of that in just a moment. Uh, so we're going to use this. This actually takes it from base 16, or sorry, base 2 binary and converts it into base 16. So instead of zeros and ones, you'll see 0 through 9 and then A through F. And uh, that that's essentially 16 digits, A through F, and that represents a, uh, a number, and that gets converted into the characters you see on your screen. So we're going to use that. Another tool that we're going to use is a text editor, and I use Sublime Text Editor, um, but you need something better than Notepad. It needs to be like Notepad++ or Programmer's Notepad or Gedit or whatever you want to use, um, but something that's uh, a hardy thing. Um, so Sublime is free. It's great. I love it. Uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is we are going to need to go to a particular path on your computer. So mine, it's C users and then your user. Mine's called a laptop. App data, local, Google, Chrome, and then user data. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the user data folder. If you only have one personality in Chrome, just go to default. I've got a bunch. So each one of them has their own profile. And so the one I'm going to use is profile 7. Once you come into this folder, you'll see there's a lot of other folders here, cookies and all that. You have current session, which are the things that are currently loaded and opened. You actually can't do much with this file because Chrome has it opened, won't let you edit it. This is actually the reason that it didn't save everything before was Chrome crashed while this file was open, so it didn't get a chance to write data to it about which tabs you are trying to save. Whenever Chrome closes, it takes whatever's in current session, current tabs, and it writes it to last session, last tabs. Just copies that data directly over there. That's why you open up your browser, you don't see the restore button, do not click the close button, because you will overwrite it and lose it forever. What you're going to need to do is, I'm going to actually drag last tabs into my HXD program here. So let me load up HXD. You can see what I'm doing there. So once I did that, and I'll just close that and I'll drag it over, you can see what happens. It immediately populates. So here's the zeros and ones, and here is the text that it decodes. Now you might say, well, why don't I just drag this directly into the text editor, like Sublime Text Editor? Well, let me show you what that looks like. So what you're going to get is essentially just all the zeros and ones. You're not going to get, and I'll just open it so you can see I'm pulling it directly there. Uh, you're not going to get anything useful. Nothing's decoded yet. So that's why we have to go through and use the HXD software. So once you get this, uh, what you need to do, oops, I tweaked it a little bit. What you need to do is just come over here, click in here somewhere. You can highlight, but I just say Control All, or Control A, select all, Control C, and actually there's a pop up that uh, I'm not showing you on my screen right now because I'm doing just a window uh, capture. But it says that all of the, it says uh, the text was copied uh, to the clipboard was filtered. It contained null characters, 00H which are interpreted in Windows Clipboard as text terminations and therefore was replaced by a weird diamond with a question mark. I'm going to click OK. That's fine. 
the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Sublime and I'm going to open a blank document and I'm going to paste. Now this is kind of some weird stuff that, that gets pasted here. So I'm going to transition over here and you can see what it did. Uh, there's those weird, almost every other character seems to be a, a question mark in a diamond shape. I need to get rid of that. This is all useless, uh, useless stuff here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control H a couple times. Um, essentially what I'm doing is I'm going to go to File and uh, Replace, Control H. And I'm going to highlight one of these little crazy diamond shapes. And I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into the Find box down here. And then for Replace, I'm just going to leave that completely blank. And I'm going to say replace all. So that's basically just deleting all of those little diamond shapes. And it's going to take a little bit because I've got more than a million matches it ran through there. And it might actually crash on me here uh, since I'm recording video and everything too. Um, but essentially what that's going to do is just remove all of those little, this little weird um, non-printing characters like that. Then you're left with almost a pure text file. You'll still have some of these little tags that you see, the open bracket, 0x10, close bracket. You'll still have those. Ah, there we go. Um, but you can see clearly where some of these are full on URLs. This URL, uh, it ends here at where it says week 12. You kind of have to recognize the end of that URL. Um, I've got Panopto, so here's another one, HTTPS, Panopto, and yeah, I think I can actually just copy all of that. Another Blackboard one here uh, goes to this point. Um, another Panopto. So uh, you can see how that kind of works. This is my, my work account that I'm looking at here. Um, and so you can just copy these, paste them into your browser, and you should be able to visit those sites. Now, if you copy and paste one and it's broken, like link doesn't work, maybe you accidentally copied it like this, where uh, you have an extra thing that says move, true one move. Well, you, you might not need that. In fact, um, some of this might not even be necessary. Uh, in, in that. If you if you know more about how web pages work, these question marks, these and symbols, uh, sometimes can be optional for things. So um, mess around with that or like the, the one that I showed you up here. Um, this example, so this says course ID number and it gives you the course ID number and then it says week 12. Well, week space 12 doesn't really match what I know about how course ID numbers in Blackboard work. Also, uh, in a web link like this, there are no spaces ever. They get replaced with a, uh, a symbol to re represent a space. It's like percent 12 or something. Um, so that's, that's not going to be, or percent 20, I'm sorry, uh, something like that. Um, so Essentially, if I copied this down to week, that would actually be a bad link. So I would need to copy it just to the course ID number. And so, um, yeah, so that's about it. That's the way to save it. Hopefully it's there. Um, what I like to do just in case is to copy the last tabs and drag and drop that onto my desktop before I start editing it, just in case I accidentally monkey around in HXD and hit the save button after I've done something like I typed earlier you saw so you don't want that to happen that, that would be uh, that'd be a shame if all that data is there and then all of a sudden you just accidentally deleted it and then saved it so um, hopefully that will help you out